Hey, good morning, guys. So we're working in this 2000, what? 2013 Toyota Noah or the Voxy. Oh, 14. 2014. 13, 14, they're actually the same. Now, this is the look like the very same Toyota Prius, but it uses the CHR battery or the fourth generation Toyota Prius. But yeah, go ahead. But you know what's happening over here, right? This is the vehicle that we're going to replace for the Nexel battery. So what are we doing? Yeah, taking out the battery is a little tricky because we had to take out both seats and look at the frame. Yes, the high voltage battery is located right here. So yeah, it takes a lot of work. So we're gonna take out this battery and I'll show you everything single step of the way. So stick around. And then of course, I really don't mind the customers helping me. Not at all, not at all. But because the customer is the one who pays the bill. So he's always gonna be your best friend, right? <laughs> okay, so let's open it up and I'll show you. But the thing is that look at the ventilation ducts of this battery and it's exactly what I don't like because it's always in the vehicle's ground. So of course, as normal, it's gonna grab all the dirt. So I'm wondering what will be the condition of this battery inside? Hmm, it's gonna be very interesting to find out. So let's open it up and let's see what's going on. But first of all, we're gonna have to open this cover and disconnect the safety plug grip, all right? So bring it on. There you go. And there is the safety plug grip, which represents the very same aqua, filler, axial, all of them. Just, and that's it. So we open the circuit, hopefully in half in this battery. So let's keep moving. So let's open up. Yeah, yeah, we gotta open a lot. And there we go. We have the full access to the battery right here. Of course, we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna do a little cleaning here in all this compartment. So stick around, we will continue. Battery is open it up. Okay, we already disconnect the service plug, which is located right here. Very similar to the Prius. But look at the junction block. The junction block is super interesting. You know what this is? This is the very same junction block from the Toyota Aqua. The only difference is, of course, the connection, but they are still are the very same. But the battery, look, same configuration, look. Power relay assembly. I'm not gonna disconnect the current sensor because it goes right into the battery management system, which is located on the other side but very, very similar. Now let's finish to open it up and take it out. We'll continue. Now take a look at the ventilation duct over here, which has this whole net filter, very easy to clean. Well, let's see the condition of the fan. Uh, not so bad, I've seen worse actually. So let's just finish to disconnect, disconnect this and take out the battery, finally. So we'll continue. We already disconnected the intake temperature sensor, the power electronics. So as you can see, this battery works backwards. This doesn't blow the air from below but it blows the air from the top you know what it's a different system but still because the fan is the one who forces the here you go my friend thank you all right now everything is disconnected and you have to disconnect over here the battery management system okay disconnect this cable and this battery is ready to go up so we will continue exhaust we will see how much dust and debris coming out from the battery of course now this one is different now the dust and debris whatever comes in goes to the top of the battery which we're gonna open and you will see for yourself okay so let's just take it out all right guys here we go so this is the high voltage battery 201.6 volts oh, that belongs to the so the boxy noah hybrid 2013 2014 15 16 they're all the same so let's just open it up and let's see what we find remember the cooling system doesn't blow from below it blows on the top so the very dust and debris is going to be on the top of the module so let's open it up and let's check out we take out everything we just open this up in this position pull it all right that's it let's take out the cover This is precisely my point. All the dust and debris comes to the very top of the battery. Look, they ain't joking. Now this very same problem is of course what affects the battery it gaps between them that finally finish to kill the battery. Although the other configuration, like for example, the Aqua goes below is the very same principle. But this one is on the top, which is extremely worse. Okay, look, they ain't joking around here. The other thing is, let's open up, let's see the Connecting locks to see how this battery been doing. All right, yeah, tons of resistance, of course. But the good thing is that with this battery, we're not gonna use these boss bars anymore. Okay, everything will be right here, just the service block grip, and that should be it. 
So let's open up and we'll continue. All right, let's finally check out 2013. So to being at 2013 and this being in this condition, not too bad at all. Okay, I've seen it worse. So we can easily reuse this voltage monitor. But look at the configuration, very interesting. Look, the very same configuration as the Toyota Prius Siaco. Let's just take this out, take the other ones out so it will be easier and safer to work. So we'll continue. Yeah, we can see clearly how this battery has been suffering very, very high resistance between the connectors. Look at how much dust in the brake right here, even in the connections. And that's exactly what happens to these batteries over time. All right, removing the other side. Let's take a quick look at what we have here. Yes, tons of resistance. And let's take a look at the service plug cable. All right, right here, let's see. How is the negative? Not too bad. I think we can just clean it up and move forward. Yeah, we have to flip it over because we have to take out all these little holes from it. So let's continue. Let's take these out. All right, now this part is actually very interesting because we're using one, let's see, one, two, over here, and three same temperature sensors, but these temperature sensors, instead of being on the top, they're right here on the bottom. So look at the disconfiguration. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to try to find a way to make this temperature sensor match with the next cell battery. So let's continue and let's assemble this. But for you, don't get confused when you're going to assemble back. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're going to identify our number one where number one is located, not this side, because this side is where the junction block goes. So the main positive is this one. Your number one is always going to be your main negative. So this one is going to be our number one until we reach the 28, which is the main positive. Right here, the junction block, as you can see, and BMU. This will help you very much to get familiar with the unit in case if you get confused. Pay very attention to this super, super important characteristic when you're taking apart any high voltage battery from Toyota is that when you're taking out the bolts from the frame, look at how much distance one from another. The level of swell in this battery, it's very, very high. So a battery in this condition, we know it's a piece of crap, okay? A normal battery in good condition will match directly the tube frame. If you see it swollen like one blade or two blades, I've seen it even four blades swollen, garbage. So don't don't take any risk. Now, especially when you're buying used one, you said they come swollen, don't buy it. They won't work. Those are gassing modules, so they won't work. Okay, so I'm gonna do look. Gotta clean this up and assemble back. We'll continue. All right, main characteristic when this goes bad is precisely all this dust and debris. But look, it's the very same thing as your radiator gets. Plug. of course it's gonna it's gonna heat up because it's not working as a proper ex effective or efficient heat exchanger and then of course this is exactly what damages the battery over time heat but really look look i ain't joking around here look how much crap so yeah that's what kills the battery so anyway we're almost finished let's just continue to assemble super important to consider that the temperature sensors in the fourth generation prius and the voxy uh, CHR, it's different because they don't go on the top clip, they go on the bottom clip. So let me show you how it goes. All right, that's it. So this is how they match. The temperature sensor, they're totally, totally different to the others, okay? But it gets very, very close to the cells right here. Okay, so temperature sensor number one, the one in the middle, and the last one. What are you doing there? See? All right, very good. Everything's supposed to match. One single position. Look at all this garbage bag. Look, now the box with the next lithium battery looking impeccable. So we will continue. Now that everything is assembled, we gotta make sure absolutely all the negative cables are fine. And something that clearly see, they're not fine. They're actually very corroded. So we're gonna submerge them in acid. All right, time to clean up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, any bubble? One stop bubble, get done. There you go, all right. See, a little more. And this is how literally the corrosion disappears. Water. And this is our final product. Shiny, beautiful, right? 
there's no better competition cleaner against the corrosion than the same 12 volt battery acid. The cables are clean, the negative cables is clean. It's now to assemble. Of course, we're not gonna use the old, those old bunch of crap to connect to the lugs. I'm gonna use brand new ones, mirror shiny. That's exactly what I like. And this is how they look like. Look, as good as shiny as it gets, absolutely zero resistant. This is going to look beautiful. Let's just begin to assemble and of course, assemble the service plug grid. All right, that's it. Great. And look at the other side where the service plug is. So this battery is ready to put on the cover. So let's go. This is how she looks. Already assembled, everything fully covered, right? We're gonna put the sticker right here, over here. And then of course, this is the main air inlet where they go with the air intake temperature sensor, but it has one right here and two secondary air outlets. This is actually great because this battery allows a lot, lot of uh, air to uh, flow between it, okay? Now the thing is because it blows from the top to the bottom, so absolutely no filtering. So that's always recommended, especially for this uh, Toyota Boxy, okay? It's always recommended. Take out the battery at least once a year or open it up, clean it up, especially if right now you have the lithium battery, no need to take it apart, but open it up and clean it because there's no filtering over here. Jose, where is the battery? There, oh yes, there it is. Okay, so this is how the battery goes under all this poultry, okay? So the air blows within right here and it has one and two exits on the bottom this is how it works so we will continue when you're cleaning your blades doesn't look like this as good as new then you didn't clean them so let's just finish to assemble just don't forget to clean this filter and then of course the battery intake which it goes right here you see the little clip we assemble the filter a serviceable filter of course that should be taken out every couple of months and that's it we just have one little uh this ventilation for the air conditioner. Let me put it. That's it. This is how it goes. The battery ventilation. This is the exhaust. The exhaust the other side. And this is air conditioning for the back. Okay, everything connected over here. Super important. Let me see. Okay, this is the outlet connection over here. And then of course, junction block, the main high voltage cables. All right, look. This is how the complete hybrid battery of the 2014 Toyota Boxy Noah looks like. All right, so what we're gonna do we're gonna begin to take down now these. Be careful, don't forget to take out the cables. All right. And that is exactly how it goes. Just clean it and that's it. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> One thing for sure. These vehicles are not leaving like this dirty. That doesn't happen in my watch. The good thing is I have a great assistant over here, which is the owner. <laughs> Thank you. And this is how she's looking now. Way, way better. Secure. So it's now time to assemble the seats. Everything is assembled. The vehicle is ready to start. So let's start it over here live with you guys. Here you go. That's it. The vehicle is in ready mode. We're just going to plug in our... Oh, we need two scans right here. Yeah, sorry, it took me a little tricky to connect the OBD2 plug. All right, so let's see what we got. Internal resistance in 19. Now this internal resistance will go way down, okay? Once the vehicle begins to drive, okay? Our state of charge, absolutely almost nominal, 220. That's how it is. Let's make the, let's make the fan work. Let's see how it works. Here we go. Yes, I can hear it. And this is exactly what I want to discuss with you. All right, guys, we're almost done. So the thing is, I wanted to show you quickly the proper maintenance to this Toyota Voxy. Well, the air inlet for the battery is located right here at the passenger side. Here at the passenger side, the air inlet is right here. You can't even feel the fan is working. In other words, you got to keep this compartment as clean as it get because look, yeah, it's not the best location, but that's how. Yeah, it's cloudy, but it's hot. So this is how you install the brand new Nexel lithium battery in Toyota Voxy or Toyota um, Noah Hybrid from 2014 and beyond. It's a whole process. I'm not gonna say it's the very same as the Aqua or the Prius. This one takes way much more uh, work, okay? It has way much more parts, okay? But it still is always interesting cases. The, the one thing you need to be considering always about the safety of uh, taking care of this battery, the passenger compartment okay 
front passenger compartment, this is the part that you definitely need to be key, clean as it gets. Your battery life depends on it, although this one has a filter over here, but it's a normal net filter, the very same as the Aqua, okay? So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and... And that's it. This vehicle is not gonna start for a while because remember, I'm now using the Nexus. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Toyota Boxy, as good as it gets. That vehicle is driving beautiful. Okay, so stick around.